Hey guys, welcome back to another Zero Linux video. In this one, uh, we're going to go over Fedora 37 for the Raspberry Pi 4. It's going to be a really quick one, just showing uh, showing you the performance, what you what you should expect, and uh, yeah, don't expect much. Let me just summarize it that way. Don't expect much. It's a first release, so the developers will will be relying on us, the users, to get uh, input where they can make it better. So if you can send reports in as much as you can, please do. Uh, this will make it grow and become much better than it is right now. As a first release, yes, it's got a ton of bugs. I, cl uh, I clicked on extension manager. You're gonna wait a long time for anything to launch. It's a Raspberry Pi 4, what do you expect? And this is GNOME. GNOME is not the lightest desktop environment out there, is it? And the Raspberry Pi is not the most powerful single board computer out there. So with this uh, combination, it's only normal to, to be uh, so slow. And don't forget, I overclocked it to two gigahertz. This is an overclocked Raspberry Pi. It launched, and those are the one, two, three, four, five, six extensions extensions I'm using. Arc menu, dash to dock, net speed, open weather, tray icons reloaded because I need my tray icons, and user themes. That's it. Another thing I need to mention is there is no hardware acceleration whatsoever. Uh, as a result, I'll show you what will happen as a result. This. Look at the YouTube quality. Colors are off. <laughs> Yeah, uh, sorry, Gardner. I didn't mean to show uh, sh show you that in, in these colors, but blame Fedora. <laughs> no codecs, no hardware acceleration, no nothing. And I tried installing any codecs that I could find. None are working. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But yeah, Gardner. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to show you now how long it takes to render a website like Wallhaven. And that's not my connection. It's just cannot render. This is my podcast website. It's running WordPress with a very simplified theme. See, it's having a hard time. And for example, I want to open Nautilus. Nautilus, I don't know, uh, on, this, on this version of Fedora, it's okay. I just clicked it and I'm not going to do anything. My hands are off the mouse and the keyboard. Don't want, to, don't want this video to drag on too long, but you get the idea. I congratulate uh, the developers behind Fedora for giving us a Raspberry Pi image, but as you can see in its current state, it's not usable. Um, what can I say? Uh, I didn't do much to the system. I just applied the, uh, the lay-in theme, applied the Tela Circle icon pack, and that's it. And though the extensions I showed you earlier, and that was it. I didn't touch the system. Uh, to cause it to become unstable. It's just like this when you flash it. I'm very transparent with you guys. Still, see, still didn't launch. Oh, there it is. It finally launched. But I, uh, applications crash left and right, randomly. I'm gonna repli try to replicate it with gradients because that's what I'm using to apply the theme. I launch gradients. You wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. Where is gradients? It, it clearly launched, it's on the dock. And I'm going to show you, it's not on other desktops. There's nothing on the other desktop. There's the glitch. There's the glitch. You see that glitch? Because there's no hardware acceleration. You move it around and you... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hold on there. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Nothing. The glitch and it's gone. And we're going to get a notification that it crashed. There you go. We are sorry. It looks like Python 3.10 crash. Please contact the developers. That, that's exactly what I said. I sent a ton of reports using the report uh, send report button in uh, in those crash logs. You should do that as well. If you install it, uh, flash it on your uh, Raspberry Pi, please, if you get crashes, send the reports into so the developers can fix all those issues. With that being said, that's what I've been suffering from all day, trying to get, I tried everything to make it behave, but nothing was working. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Let me know in the comments below, below if uh, you like those kind of quick look videos. And uh, don't forget to, uh, to like this video and click on the bell to get a notification whenever I release a new one. With that being said, 
I'll see you in the next one, I guess. All right.